Black again, royal family. Not reason with the praise. Our reason in today's studies can be taken from Psalms chapter thirty-four, verse eleven. You know, continuing reading. You know, it's nice to have you all always here. Please watch to the end. We have some good news. I have the keys to long life. Seriously, I found the keys to long life. But you have to listen to the end. Of the video, you know, video shows don't have no end, but you know, end of this video, and then the next video, ever living videos. <laughs> as long as the internet can keep up, you know. But watch the end, you'll see the keys to life, long life. Yeah. Continue reading Psalm chapter 34, verse 11. It says, Come ye, children, hearken unto me, I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is he that desired life, loved many days, that he may see good? Keep thy tongue from evil and thy lips from speaking guile. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. Emmanuel eyes, that's the idea. That's the far right. So, Yes, it's that simple. The key to long life, yes, it's written right down here in the Bible. This is all you have to do to have a long life. You know, keep your Sabbath, keep your life. <laughs> but for sure, the Psalms 34, 11 shows us that, you know, yes, you know, there is a way to live a long, happy life, you know, in victory, you know, in love and in peace, you see, you know, but the man say, you know, it's a certain way you have to do it. You have to apply some things to your life, you know, to get the benefits, you know, to live, you know, this long, happy life, you know, that everybody wants to live. Everybody wants to live a long life, you know, and the man say, you know, yeah, he that loved many days, like, you know, you want to be on this planet many days. Like, you want to live until you 70, 80, 90. Even if you're 90, you know, you want to live till you're 110. You know, even if you reach 110, you want to put on another 20 on that 130. Just saying, everybody just want a long life. You see, you're cheering, you're going cheering, you're cheering, cheering. You know, you go a couple places you've never been. You know what I mean? <laughs> meet a couple of people you never meet. You know, seeing a couple of songs you never sing, eat a couple of dishes you never eat. Some playing people spice the food, you know. People want a long, happy, good life. Who doesn't? So, the Bible says in order for us to have long days, you know, and a good life. Uh, the first thing we got to do, rule number one. We got to keep our tongue from evil. Now, what that means... One of the evils that is performed, you know, by the mouth is slandering. Yeah, slandering is when, you know, you spread information about people that's similar to defamation of character. You spread information about people and you don't have concrete evidence, you know, but yet you're telling people, you know, this is the character or this is the situation of that person or this is the situation of that scenario, but you don't have the evidence. You know, but you're confident in telling people, you know, about this person, defaming them before you know of the truth. You know, that's slandering. You know, um, another form, you know, of your tongue speaking evil, you know, is, you know, as we read on, it'll say, you know, keep our lips from speaking guile. Now, what is guile? You know, it's not a common word you every day. You know, mostly rasta them. It's not speaking guile. but you talking guile? A bussing guile. But really what guile is? Yeah. Guile is deception. Yeah, it's when you're deceiving people. It's, it's a lying tongue. Yeah. It's like... 
for example, guile is when a person tells you lies and manipulates you to get you to do stuff or to give them stuff, you know? Yeah. Um, guile is like, you know, even people playing the victim and, you know, um, blaming others, you know? Yeah, it's, 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 it's guile. You see, guile is the opposite of, you know, having a true intention or making your true intention known to people, you know, making your true identity, your true, you know, intent to be known. Anytime you try to deceive someone, like say, you say, well, yeah, I'm going to, let's say, wash my car at this particular spot at 12. You know, you owe the person some money or whatever, and you tell them meet you, meet you there at 12. Yeah. You know you ain't gonna be there for 12. <laughs> you know you duck in this place. You didn't want to deal with them. But you tell them that. That's guile. <laughs> You're speaking guile. Through that guile, you could cause you and the brethren to have like a lot of vibes, you know, because you waste his time and. You don't know what all he did to meet your appointment. You know, even in our daily lives, you know, even when we make promises to people, you know, that's why the Bible says quickly that our yay should be yay and our nay should be nay. Our yes should yes and our no should no. So if someone tell you, hey, yeah, you come into my, you know, urge strong gathering, you know you ain't going, <laughs> you know, you know you ain't really going. You know your reason why you ain't going. But you know you ain't going. But you still look at that person and you tell them they face. I'll be there. That's guile. <laughs> you speak in guile. Because from your heart, you know it's not your true intentions. Yeah, so that's what guile is. So if we keep our mouth from telling people things and even telling ourselves guile, things that you know you really ain't gonna do, things that you know you really not gonna fulfill, things that you know that you're not really not gonna pursue. You can't even speak these things even into your life because you're speaking guile to yourself. Yeah, you're deceiving yourself, you know, and the king said the greatest deceiver is someone who deceived himself, you know, so. Yeah, we keep our tongue from speaking evil, slandering people's name. And you don't know what's really happening. <laughs> Accusing people, you know. You saw your, your your friend or your family member or your brethren or your, even sometimes your enemy. Sometimes your mate, your, your, you know, your, your spouse. You see them do something and, yeah. You ain't sure what you see. You have concrete evidence of, you know, what you think you see. You know, but you may run to the family member or to their friend and say, I see this one or, you know, yeah. Yeah, that's guile, you know, that's folly, that's, that's speaking evil, that's slandering. You make it even slander your own peoples, you know. Yeah, your own youths. Yeah, if you ain't sure of something about your youths, you know, you shouldn't go to another place and not even to the, your own king man or your own queen. Talk to your youths and, you know, reason with them and then take it to the next level if it have to. Yeah, because accusations. Satan is the accuser of the brethren. Yeah, he's the one who speak evil. He's speaking things in Asia. You know, just to, you know, make things what they're not. You know, and then he also, Satan is the guile speaker. You know, he'll tell you something to your face and your eyes. You know, Satan will tell you something. But deep in his heart, no. He have a different intention. Yeah, that's a guile speaker, you see. So, just tell us we from, remove from an evil tongue, remove from slandering, remove from accusing. Yeah, speaking of things that you ain't even know of and repeating it to others. Especially, slandering is repeating it to others. You see, and then the man say we must keep our tongue from guile. 
you know, for making, you know, promises and making appointments. <laughs> no one's perfect. I'm just saying it. it's just going to make your life better if we don't. Because it's not a good practice to speak guile. Yeah, to speak of things that you know you're not willing to fulfill. You don't have that true intention in your heart. It's a difference now. If you make someone a promise, yeah, well, I come in. And then so many things happen. You know, you got a car, break down, a tire flat. You know what I mean? Your mama call you over an emergency. You know, whatever. You had, you know, that's different. You could always call that person and say, hey, sorry. Yeah, I, I didn't make it. I had true intentions, but I didn't make it. I apologized. So you didn't speak guy. You didn't deceive them. But if you know you was never going and you tell him you come in, that's a guile tongue. And that's what we have to be careful for. An evil tongue and a guile tongue. Continuing, you know, the man say, depart from evil and do good. You see? So Sam said, we're well, just repeating us. You know, it's better just to leave these evils of accusation, speaking evil, um, deceiving people, deceiving ourselves. We must just leave these ways and just do good. What is the opposite of of an evil tongue? An evil tongue is a patient tongue that is controlled, that listens to all the information and waits patiently to make sure it have all the evidence before it speak and share. You see? Because some things for true, you know, you may not be able to go and ask the person if it's the truth. You know, if someone comes to you and say, hey, a certain type of person trying to cut your life, are you going to go to that person and ask that person if they can cut your life? No. Yeah, you don't take the rumor, you don't take the slander, you just hear it and you investigate to see if this is just slander, if this person is just telling you this without evidence, without truth. Now, if you look within yourself, you pray about it and God revealed to you, you know, this person, you know, has an odd against you. You know what I mean? The evil against you. Yeah, and you have all the evidence. You have a right not to take it to them if they in that much of a danger to, to harm you. You see? Is you have a right to take it to others, to authorities, those that can help you. As you as authority of yourself to get assistance. You have to protect yourself based on that information. But we is not to hear everything we hear and just run and start telling people and run to this one and that one and I need help because this one say they <laughs> I hear this one say that, I hear this one say they can do this to me, I hear this one say they I got this for them and I hear this one it's the one who stole my thing, so I got in the police station for them. I got in this way for them, I gotta get the gangsters to gun. That's only what you hear. You <laughs> You see, so you know, we not even to continue the, in the guile. So if someone come to you and tell you something and they, you, they don't have concrete evidence, that's guile. That's slander until you show that have full evidence. Now, once you show it have evidence, that's not slander. But if it turns out it's none of the evidence is true or, you know, not all the evidence is true, that boy is just slandering. Yeah, they, they spread and things. They don't, they don't really know. You see, that's a guile don't. It's a deceiving don't. Yeah, don't have truth in it. They don't have true information. Um, you know, and the last thing the man say, I mean, it's simple. It, it's it's easy. It's hard, but it's easy. <laughs> man say, seek peace and pursue it. You know, yeah, seeking peace and pursuing it is one of the last, you know, remedies needed to have a long life with many days, a good life. Yeah peaceful life you know in order to have a peaceful life you have to seek peace and pursue it so in every situation in your life anything everybody ever done to you people that is doing it to you now even your enemies you have to seek peace with them not war don't try to go to war with them seek peace with them pursue peace with them always even if it come a point where they, they come and you have to defend yourself you understand? And you have to, you know, really defend yourself to the point where you may take their life in self-defense. Seek peace with that person. Yeah, I, you know, I, you, you came to take my life and I had no other choice. I don't know what was going on with you or whatever, but, you know, I had to defend my life. So you seek peace with everything in life. Yeah. 
Yeah, don't don't be at war with nothing. Yeah, that's what the man say. Seek peace and pursue it. And you got have long life. Yeah, so even if someone come give you information, they say, boy, Boba, don't do that. Why? You can cause trouble. You can't jump and say, yeah, boy, I ready to start some trouble now. No. You don't have a long life. Yeah, you can have a happy days and peace. You have troubles. Because you can't cause trouble. You stir up trouble. So you have to seek peace. I know it's all easier said than done. So I'm not judging everybody watching. And I thank you watch it this far. You know, to find the keys of life. I know it's not as easy as you thought. It's not as easy as I thought either. You know, when I first read, I was like, hey, here's the keys of life. To live long and happy. You know, but, you know, it's easier said than done. It's actually every day waking up and watching what you say. <laughs> Watch what you repeat. You see? Yeah. What should you say? What would you repeat? What would you say? What would you repeat? <laughs> yeah. Guide your tongue. You know, like a mule. Even me, I'm just telling you. It's the key of life. You know, to guide our tongue. Yeah, what we promise, what we say, what we don't, you know, it's very important. You know, the scripture even says that life and death is in the tongue. It's the most powerful thing on this planet, honestly. Yeah, if the Bible is telling us that the key to living many days on this planet in peace, <laughs> you hear that? To be happy and you sure you can live a long life on this planet. I know many people are like, oh, but I have this problem, and I have this problem, and I have this problem, and I have this problem. You know, fine. You know, we all have problems. You know, but according to the scriptures, if you want to live a long life, many days on this earth, you understand? Yeah, no matter what your situation is out there, no matter what situation you're in, if you want relief, if you want salvation, if you want to live long, if you want peace, if you want to live good, keep your tongue from slandering, talking things you don't know about people behind their back. You know, yeah, you don't talk about people, you don't speak evil about people. You don't speak evil about nothing that you don't know of. Yeah, and keep your tongue from guile. Don't deceive no one. So someone asks you, how are you doing? If you know you ain't okay, don't say, I'm okay. Really? No, that's... And we've been taught that from children. You know, many of us in society, we've been taught to be dishonest about everything. And it's it's really guile. It's deceiving. Your, 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 your wealth, your blessings, your healing... You know, your guidance, your protection. Everything comes through truth. You know, not deception. Nothing comes through deception. Nothing comes through speaking guile. You know what I mean? Even when you go to people and you go to them and they ask you or you go in them trying to make a better life for yourself, to make more money or to make more, you know what I mean? Yeah, whatever you want in life. Even if you go to the doctors and you know, or whoever, and you are, they ask you, "What is wrong with you?" If you are speaking guile, if you're not honest about your problem, even in your house, if if you have a problem, you know, your house is not running well, you know, and you go before a psychiatrist and you and your, you know, or you go before a priest or whoever, and you and them talk, you know, and he asks you to be honest, you cannot speak guile, you cannot deceive. The listener, <laughs> you know, so just say we have not because we ask not. Why? Because we speak guile. We, we deceive with our lips, you see. So, yeah, where's the salvation? You know, people really don't know the truth of who you are and what's really happening in your life and what you really need and what you really come to contribute or any of that stuff. If everything you speak is deception, then how can life even be good? How can anything good come out of that? And your life is a deception. So guile is a no-no, you know. 
And same said way the man say, of course, seek peace, forgiveness. Forgive everybody who do you wrong. Forgive you people that doing you wrong. Forgive people that done you wrong. Yeah, in the midst of someone doing you wrong, I forgive them. I, you know, I just can make peace with them. I don't know what they going through. It's always when people offend you, when people come at you, and you've never done them nothing, you must always, you know, look at it from their point of view first. You know what I mean? You know, you know yourself. Yeah, I haven't done them nothing. So you look at their point of view. You know, something is going wrong with them, you know, because they're coming at you. You see, so, yes, royal family, if you could keep your peace and recognize that you never had nothing for them, you never did them nothing wrong, so you have no need not to be in peace with them. If you have to defend yourself, that's a peaceful defense, a self-defense, a still peace. So God is showing us in our worst situations in life, even with the enemy, you know, may have us by our throat. You understand? Just say, make peace with them. Yeah, Christ say, forgive them for they know not what they do. <laughs> yeah. If you were the enemy of Detroit and you're trying to, you know, Deal with him and he overcome you. Just make peace. Yeah, if if he conquer me, that's, you know, ja, that's just your ja will. I, you know. But in reality, yeah, we have to always remain in peace. Yeah, because when we come out of our peace state and we go into war, we're no better than those who lost in war. Those who have lost that peace, you see? Yeah, um, yeah so that's what it is. That's the keys to a long life, happy life. Mm -hmm. It's that simple. Y'all don't get angry at me now. <laughs> Seek peace, because I know y'all was like, the priest, fine, you know, like, yeah. A tablet or, you know, a country I could go to or some kind of warp I could walk in and, you know, just live forever, live long, long, long and happy. No, no, it's, it's a change of a mindset. You know, it's a change of the way we live externally from internally. Yeah, the way we respond to people, the way we answer people, the way we even share or, you know, promise or whatever we do to people. You know, that determines how long we live, how good we live. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and how peaceful we live. Seriously, it's that simple. Yeah. And some people be like, oh, shut your mouth. That's not what it means, you know, because sometimes it's good to be quiet. But at the same time, sometimes it's good to speak out. Speak out truth, not guile. Don't speak guile, don't speak evil. But speak truth. You can speak truth. Yeah. Especially when it's the right time. If you have to withhold your tongue, until the time to speak the truth, that's fine. But you have a right to speak the truth. But guile and evil, no. no. Let's keep that far from our town. You know, and let's keep peace. Let's stop seeking war. Yeah, we have a long life. Happy life. Black again. Love, 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 love.